Hi everybody, this is Jen from Cookies, Cupcakes, and Cardio.com. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make your own cotton candy. On a recent trip to Target, I happened to find the Jelly Belly cotton candy machine on sale, so I thought it would be a perfect thing to bring in and do a video review on it and show you how to make it. It's really easy, so let's get started. So what you see in this area here is what comes in the Jelly Belly cotton candy machine. You're going to find when you open up your box this part of the machine and this is the part that heats up and that you plug into your electrical outlet. Right here came together assembled and this is the cotton candy flossing rim and then what you have to put into the machine is this heating element here. This is the thing that spins and then distributes the heat. We also have a measuring spoon for the amount of sugar. Also comes with the ingredient or sorry the instruction manual and it's actually really good so if you have any questions just read it. It's really helpful. And my version, I'm not sure of all the versions, um, it came with six of the cotton candy cones, but it did not come with any cotton candy sugars. So what I had to do was I bought this extra cotton candy making kit. And inside there are two bags of pink candy and two bags, or sugar, the candy sugar, and two bags of the blue candy sugar, and then 24 of these cones. So now I'm gonna show you how to put it together and then how to actually make the cotton candy. So the first thing we need to do is assemble the cotton candy machine. Down here is where we're going to slip this middle piece and the middle piece has a little divot um, out of it and that's just going to go into around these rods that are in the center. Just wanna slip that on there. And if you don't get it locked, this could fling, like fling off, so make sure you've got it down in there, locked in there. And then this candy floss top just goes on top and you press it all the way to the bottom until it clicks. Now that the machine is assembled, I've got it plugged in and I'm going to let it heat up for five minutes. So I'm just gonna hit on, let it heat up and I'll be back. So the machine has been heating for the five minutes. You can tell it's nice and warm by the um, orange little tinge you can see underneath the center one, the center piece there. So I'm just turning it off. Now what we want to do is have that center piece come to a complete stop prior to adding in our sugars. Now here are the sugars that I got in that Jelly Belly additional pack. And I have leveled off a t uh, one of the spoonfuls of the sugar. And I'm going to be putting it directly into the center when we get it coming to a stop here, right into the center of the heating core in the middle here. So I'm just going to put that in there, just like that. You wanna to try to keep it in the center and try not to get it on the outside, but it's fine if you get a little bit on there. And then just give the little rim a little tap because that settles the sugar in the center. When I turn it back on, sugar will fly out. Don't be worried, that's normal. So I'm gonna turn it on. You can see that little spin. And now we're just waiting for the actual floss to form. So it's only gonna take a really short time here. And then you'll be able to tell right away when the floss starts to form because you'll look like little cobwebs all along the outside of the rim. So we're just gonna wait and then I'll show you what to do next. So it's been about a minute and the floss is starting to form. So I've got my candy coat, my cotton candy cone here, and I'm just spinning it while turning it in the center around the floss ring. Once I've got a little bit on there, I'm just going to rest my cone on the floss ring and I'm just turning while going around. So just gonna collect all that stuff there. So you just wanna keep spinning. Try not to hit the center piece. That will just melt your sugar back down to nothing. So you just wanna keep it moving, keep it turning, and build that cotton candy up, just like this. So it gives you enough for a good sized portion for one kid or one adult, I guess, if an adult wants to have some cotton candy. But after you've finished turning your one piece of cotton candy, all you have to do to make more for the second one is just to turn it off, let it come to a full stop again, and then add your next color or your next flavor or whatever you want to do next. You can also use the cotton candy machine with um, regular granulated sugar. I tried it and it just makes white cotton candy. So that's kind of neat to know if you were out of sugar, out of the fancy sugar, you could just use regular granulated sugar. So I think I've got most of it here. And I'm gonna switch 
off now and I'm going to switch to blue. So let's make some blue cotton candy next. Now for some blue cotton candy. So I'm putting it again into the center, trying to keep it away from the disc. Just piling it in there. Give the sides a little tap. And turn it on. So right away it comes up with the stuff from before. So you just want to move that stuff off and there the blue should be coming out in about a minute. Here comes the blue cotton candy. So again, I'm spinning it inside the flossing wheel there. Then I'm going to switch to turning along the edge and just rotating to pick up all this cotton candy. So just keep yourself turning, turning, turning and catching all that candy. So I'm going to do a couple more after I've got this blue one done. Then I'll be back to show, talk to you about cleaning it out. When you're done making all of your cotton candy that you need for your party or your event, it's really simple to clean this out. Once the candy is hardened, it just like kind of falls off the side there. And then you can just take off the top here, like we put it on, and just tap it out in the garbage and then wash it out with warm soapy water. When this centerpiece is completely dry, or sorry, when it's completely cooled, you don't want to burn yourself, make sure you take that out, wash it out with um, warm soapy water as well, and then just give your machine a wipe down to clean it completely. So I'm going to get my cotton candy, let you see the finished product, and I'll be right back. So there you go everybody, how to make cotton candy using the Jelly Belly cotton candy machine. Overall I think this is a great machine, it's lots of fun, it's something easy you can do with kids. My only complaint is that it did not include the sugars in order to make the cotton candy. So that would be one thing that you need to keep in mind if you're looking to purchase and buy the cotton candy machine. Other than that, I think it's great, it's super easy to use, and it's quite small so it's easy to store into your in your closet. So thanks for watching everybody. If you want to see what we're going to be doing with these little mini cotton candy machines, stay tuned for a future video. We're going to be making cotton candy cupcakes. So thanks for watching. Remember to subscribe to the channel and I will see you all again next time.